At 3.14 a.m. Crimea. The sea was quiet, too quiet. No jets, no warning, just an unnatural hum, getting louder. Suddenly, out of the fog, a swarm of Ukrainian drones roared low across the Black Sea, ghosts in the dark. One drone lost signal mid-glide, jerked left, then reacquired. For five seconds, Ukraine's entire plan hung by a wire, then vanished into a blaze that lit the coastline like a sunrise. One question, how did a $50,000 drone turn Russia's energy empire into a fireball? Spoiler, it wasn't just an explosion. It was the opening shot of full-scale economic warfare. In under 10 minutes, you'll discover how Ukraine's GPS-guided drones bypass Russian S-400s, the tech powering deep-strike long-range UAVs, why these oil depot hits matter more than tank kills. This isn't battlefield footage. It's a new era of precision drone warfare. Did you know? One drone swarm knocked out over $700 million in Russian fuel infrastructure. That's 97 oil tanks, torched by machines built in Ukrainian garages. Here's how Ukraine rewrote 21st century warfare, with algorithms, not armies. Subscribe for real defense tech storytelling. No clickbait, no recycled footage. Just cinematic war science you won't find on cable news. This isn't a news report. It's a war tech breakdown with physics, doctrine, and narrative clarity. Built for minds that want more than headlines. It was 3.14 a.m. over Feodosia. A deep black drone screamed silently over the Crimean coast, flying no higher than the treetops. Below, a Russian oil depot slept. Dozens of massive tanks, glistening under moonlight, filled with the fuel that powered tanks in Kharkiv and jets over Donbass. The drone didn't need stealth. It had audacity. By the time radar crews noticed the blip, it was already inside. A final course correction. A soft beep. Then, detonation. A rising sun of orange fire bloomed over Crimea's industrial arteries. That night, the war changed. Ukraine had just hit Russia, where it hurt the most. Its economy. Quick poll. Could a 50k drone really collapse a $60 billion empire? Drop Slava Ukraini the comments if you think drone warfare just changed forever. And tell us which country do you think will copy Ukraine's playbook next? Russia's energy infrastructure isn't just economic, it's logistical muscle and wartime lifeblood. From Saratov to Sevastopol, oil refineries and storage sites feed the trucks, jets, and armored columns driving the invasion. The depot at Feodosia alone stored over 30,000 cubic meters of refined fuel enough to power an armored division for weeks. But beyond its volume, the site's location was key. Behind enemy lines, assumed unreachable by Ukrainian hands. And that's where Moscow got it wrong. Because Ukraine wasn't sending missiles. It was sending a doctrine. To hit targets 600 to 1,000 kilometers deep into enemy territory, without triggering full-scale retaliation, required more than just courage. It needed geometry, guidance, and political calculation. Russian air defenses bristle across border zones. S-400s, Pantsers, and radar arrays cover every approach corridor. Any Ukrainian Air Force sortie would have been suicide. But drones, low signature, low speed, and radar quiet, could sneak through seams in coverage. Even then, timing was everything. Launch too early, and Russia could trace back to the unit. Too late, and ceasefire diplomacy could collapse. Ukraine had to strike hard, deep, and plausibly deniable. That's what made drones the perfect scalpel. Next, watch how a swarm of budget drones outsmarted Russia's multi-billion dollar air defenses on their own turf. Ukraine didn't just innovate, it industrialized. By early 2025, its drone production surged past 50,000 units monthly. And among them, a quiet killer emerged. Long-range kamikaze-class UAVs like the modified UJ-22, or its black program cousins. Range, up to 1,000 kilometers payload. 10, or 50 kilograms of HE, or incendiary gel, guidance. A blend of GPS, inertial nav, and, in elite models, real-time video for terminal control. But the real magic wasn't in one drone. It was in saturation. Feodosia wasn't hit by one UAV. It was swarmed. Flight profiles were staggered. 
altitude bands, decoy flares, even sonic masking over industrial zones. The drones flew nap of earth routes, using river valleys and rail cuts as cover. Russian jammers lit up, but the drones didn't care. Their inertial fallback packages had already stored target coordinates. At under $50,000 a piece, these drones were cheaper than a single Russian SAM, and they flew straight into the soft underbelly of the Federation's war economy. 3.12, the first drone crosses the Kerch Strait. 3.13, three others hit radar shadows south of Novorossiysk. 3.14, the lead UAV drops to 15 meters altitude. 3.1429, lock, glide, ignite. The explosion is violent, but precise. A single tank erupts. A chain reaction follows. Pressure waves rip metal like paper. Secondary blasts leap from silo to silo. Flames stretch 60 meters into the air. A Russian Mi-8 scrambles to intercept, but by then, the sky is empty. The drones are ghosts. The damage is real. 97 tanks, seven regional oil depots, an estimated $714 million in damage. Russia's fuel export capacity dropped by 12%. An internal memo from Gazprom leaked within weeks. Contingency fuel routing compromised. The Saratov strike alone forced Russia to reroute military logistics through slower, less protected corridors. Weeks of delays, hundreds of convoys stalled. This wasn't a drone strike. It was an economic warhead. Ukraine changed the target map, from tanks and trenches to pipelines and profits. It didn't just fight Russia's army. It targeted its economy, its morale, and its strategic breathing room. And when a 30-day ceasefire paused the strikes in March 2025, Ukraine didn't disarm. It recalibrated. Even during the truce, select drones flew. To remind Moscow, distance is no defense anymore. Even during the truce, drones didn't vanish. They loitered. They watched. Some flew unarmed, just to remind Moscow. Distance is no defense anymore. Ukraine didn't just invent new weapons. It invented a new way to think about war. Kill the fuel. Break the war. If this is what a 50K drone can do to a $60 billion empire, imagine what 10,000 of them can do to a collapsing superpower. Like, comment, subscribe, and remember, it's not about firepower anymore. It's about reach, resilience, and reason. And Ukraine just rewrote the battlefield.